Road accidents are terrible. If you're in the age group 5 to 49, you're more likely to die in a road crash than by malaria, tuberculosis, homicide, suicide, drug disorder, natural disasters, liver, or kidney disease. It's the leading cause of death for children and young adults aged 5 to 10 years old. In the US alone, 40,000 people die in road crashes each year, an average of 109 per day. Compare this with the number of deaths by homicide and gun violence, you'll see how road accidents are invisible killing machines. Road accidents make an additional 2.35 million people injured or disabled. Economically, it costs the US $230 billion, or an equivalent of $820 per person per year. According to this list of the US's most dangerous highways, State Route 99 in California alone cost a total of 264 lives. That is 62.3 deaths per 100 miles, followed by interstates 45 and 95. On a global scale, highways in the US have encountered more road accidents and fatalities than those in other developed countries. At the extreme bottom of this depressing list is State Highway M185, which seems to have completely escaped the problems of road accidents. If we ignore a minor accident that happened in 2005, M185 has never encountered a single road accident in its history of 120 years. There have been no fatalities, no major injuries, nothing, which makes it the safest highway in the United States and possibly the whole world. Okay, so what's the secret? How has M185 been able to pull this off? The answer is very simple. The authorities have killed the very reason for all the troubles. They have banned all motor vehicles from running on this highway. According to an ordinance passed in 1898, no automobiles have been allowed to run on the asphalt of M185, and traffic is limited to foot, on horses, by horse-driven vehicles, or by bicycles only. That is why, even in the age of electric sports cars, horse-driven carts from the Victorian era can still be seen working as a viable mode of transport in this corner of the world. M185 is a Michigan state highway on a tiny island named Mackinac, located in Lake Huron. The island is only 9.8 square kilometers in land area, and around it runs the 12.8 kilometer long M185. Since the highway is a circular one, it has no starting or ending point, leads to nowhere, and doesn't connect to any other highways. In the 1890s, when automobiles had started to get popular in the country, some people attempted to bring cars to the island, alienating the residents with their noise and disrupting the island's quiet, contemplative ways of life. Several residents of the island complained that the doctor's car scared their horses and caused carriage accidents, and these complaints quickly prompted the ban on all motor vehicles. Since then, other than a handful of emergency and utility vehicles, no cars or trucks are allowed on the island, and no motorized vehicles appear on M185. For public transportation, the island has horses, around 50 of them for 460 permanent residents. People bring 600 more horses to accommodate the peak tourism season in the summer when the island population swells to more than 15,000. Bike rentals are extremely big business on the island, with 10,000 bikes in use at any time during the summer. Naturally, bike theft is the biggest crime on the island, with drunk biking popular among the regular pub goers. In the name of emergency vehicles, the island has an ambulance and a fire truck. In the winter months, the Mackinac Island Police is allowed to patrol the island in snowmobiles, and roadside litter is picked up using a horse-driven wagon. In 1933, M185 became a highway, and M185 designation was assigned to it for the first time. It became the only state highway in the nation where motor vehicles are banned. Nice, but why would you call a road that has completely banned automobiles a highway at all? Aren't highways supposed to support heavy traffic in the first place? Well, not really. In practical or popular terms, a highway is a major and significant, well-constructed road that is capable of carrying moderately heavy to extremely heavy traffic, but in reality, the term highway is older than the automobiles themselves and dates back as far as the 12th century. Rulers in olden times maintained major public roads that connected cities to facilitate the movement of troops. They were called highway in the sense that high means main. Also, they were constructed higher than the surrounding land, so they didn't become waterlogged, so the name highway. Under the US law, a highway is just any road or street open for public use, and there's no requirement of automobile traffic. Since M185 is the only major road on Mackinac Island, it's included in the list of Michigan State Highways. For the same reason, the highway is not listed on the National Highway System, which is an index of strategic highways and roads within the US that's important to the country's economy, defense, and mobility.
An unfortunate incident happened on May 13th, 2005, the only known motor collision on the island when the island's fire truck hit the open door of the parked ambulance, causing small damage. Unfortunately, M185 lost its title as the only highway that never had an automobile accident on this day due to this incident. In the absence of motorized traffic, the island offers a great scenic view for cycling along its coastline. It has a preserved, quaint, quiet, 19th century experience that brings people from faraway places to this land. 